Live from Storm Center 2, I'm meteorologist Rebecca Schaub with the first check of your weather and it is a hot one out there for many of us here across northeastern Wisconsin. We'll start you off with the heat index. Now this is a measure of uh, taking into account the temperature and the humidity. So here is what it feels like. How about 110 in Wapaka? Feels like 100 from Green Bay down towards Appleton and Fond du Lac feeling like 102 in Shawano. You can see here feeling like the 80s across our lakeshore communities and up to the north and interesting to note that over the past eight hours we did have some stubborn cloud cover hanging across our eastern counties and lakeshore communities and that did keep temperatures down just a little bit in that direction sunshine for the rest of the state so as a result they have dropped portions of the area out of that heat advisory it includes Green Bay right here in Brown County and all the counties to the east you're still under that advisory across the uh, orange color counties until 8 p.m. and the bright pink is the excessive heat warnings there. All right, we'll take you outside right now in Green Bay, kind of some hazy filtered sunshine at the moment. We check in at 89 steamy degrees and we will stay in the 80s right through the rest of our evening with some clouds passing across the area, but a dry start to our evening again, feeling like about 100 degrees here early on. Eventually temperatures should drop back to around 80 degrees by nine o'clock tonight and then our focus will turn to the chance for some storms as we head into this upcoming weekend. All the details on that are coming up as Action 2 News at 4 starts right now. This is Action 2 News at 4. Coverage you can count on. The climbing temps create dangerous conditions for some of the community's most vulnerable citizens. And again, our volunteers are trained to um, give us any red flags if they see anything concerning. How volunteers are keeping area seniors safe under the scorching sun. It's our top story on Action 2 News at 4. Good afternoon. Jeff has the day off. It was one of the hottest days yet for many parts of northeast Wisconsin. And unfortunately, that heat and humidity can be a deadly combination for the elderly. Molly Hendrickson shows us what neighbors and volunteers are doing to make sure seniors are staying safe. Meals on Wheels volunteer Ron Poister is making his normal Friday rounds, but today Good morning. How you doing? he's doing more than just delivering lunch. It's nice and cool in there, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. He's okay. also Take checking care. on seniors, That's making good. sure they're doing okay in the heat. That's part of our job is to check in, let people know back in the county that things aren't quite right they will follow up immediately. Volunteers like Poister are trained to look for warning signs of heat exhaustion like disorientation or pale skin, a kind of lifeline for many seniors who have otherwise nobody mail. else. I usually have air conditioning, but it didn't turn on this morning for some strange reason. Well, I leave if this air conditioning doesn't get working. Give us a call. At retirement communities like Mason Manor, staff are encouraging neighbors to check on neighbors to make sure they're doing okay in the heat. If they see a magazine or a paper under their door, we'll have somebody go in and look and see if they're all right. Community rooms like this are kept cool, so residents who don't have AC have somewhere to escape. Tiring, I should say. It takes the energy right out of you. Knowing someone is watching. Well, good morning. Good morning gives girl. them a little relief. I really enjoyed this program. It's wonderful. Even under the scorching summer sun. In Brown County, Molly Hendrickson, Action 2 News. Republican State Representative John Nigren of Marinette will not appear on the ballot in the recall race for Senate District 30. That's what a judge ruled today after Nigren came two signatures short of completing the necessary nomination paperwork. Chris Horapsky has more from today's court proceedings. In Dane County Court, Representative John Nigren's attorney argued that three of the signatures rejected by the Government Accountability Board should have been valid. And the evidence that we provided to GAB clearly shows that those nomination papers have at least 400 valid signatures. Attorney Eric McLeod argued one of the electors wrote his business address instead of his in-district home address. Another person signed more than one nomination paper for that race, ultimately discounting that signature. But the attorney for the GAB argued that all the signatures that were thrown out were thrown out correctly, leaving Nigren two signatures short of the required 400. You don't get a do-over. You don't get to just keep spending your days uh, coming up with more evidence. 
more signatures. The judge sided with the GAB's argument, in turn preventing Nigren from being named on the ballot. In my view, I, I don't like the way things have gone over the last few months myself. Uh, elections should take place in at the ballot box, not in courtrooms. And, uh, I, you know, I'm disappointed that we actually had to come to this point today. Nigren could still campaign as a write-in candidate, but says he will make that decision in the coming hours. In Madison, Chris Arabsky, Action 2 News. Today's decision means David Vanderlees will be the only person on the ballot challenging Democratic State Senator Dave Hansen in that recall election. We caught up with both men this afternoon to get their reaction to this ruling. I guess I was ready to run against Senator Hansen in a final election the whole while. I thought we'd win the primary anyways. Um, I'm just relieved that it's a little sooner than later. But I'm glad to be the first one out of the box and, uh, you know, hopefully develop some momentum. But we'll see. You know, we're going to work real hard. I think the people are excited, you know, that they can work on a different pace. The recall election date is scheduled for July 19th. Wisconsin residents will be allowed to carry a concealed weapon starting in November. Governor Scott Walker's office announced today he will sign the recently passed concealed carry bill July 8th in Wausau. It will take effect November 1st. When it does, people who obtain a permit and go through training will be allowed to carry concealed weapons in most public buildings unless there is a sign saying they are not permitted. The search for a missing woman in Winnebago County is called off until tomorrow because of excessive heat. 40-year-old Michelle Voigt was last seen walking out of her home in the town of Utica about 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Jason Zimmerman is live in our Fox Valley newsroom with the very latest. Jason. Kemi, that search was called off today at about 2 o'clock. Investigators tell us they don't suspect foul play, but they are concerned about Voight's safety. This morning, about 20 volunteers assisted the Sheriff's Department search of the immediate area surrounding Voight's house. At this point, they aren't saying why Voight might have wandered off. Canine teams from a search and rescue organization out of southeastern Wisconsin have also been brought in. So far, we're told while the dogs detected some scent, they didn't find any substantial leads. Eventually, the search was put on hold because of extreme heat. Well, at this point, uh, we're continuing search efforts. Uh, the dogs that we had out here had to retire for the day. It's just simply too hot in these conditions for the dogs. However, we do expect to pick right back up tomorrow morning and start again with the physical search of the area. The Sheriff's Department hopes to resume that search at about 5 tomorrow morning. Reporting live in the Fox Valley Newsroom, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News. Thanks, Jason. Police in Oshkosh are also looking for a missing person. 24-year-old Kenneth Cron was last seen at Sawdust Days last night. He's 5'11", 240 pounds, with blonde hair and hazel eyes. He also has a Cadillac tattoo on one side of his stomach. Police say he may be in danger because of a medical condition. Members of the Appleton-based 395th Ordnance Company will soon be heading to Afghanistan. Today, we learned a send-off ceremony will be held for the unit next Thursday afternoon at 3 o'clock. It will be held at the Reserve Center on Ballard Road. When they are in Afghanistan, that unit will account for and store explosive devices. A diesel spill on Highway 172 in Ashwaubenon causes some headaches for drivers this morning. Just before 5.30, safety officials say a semi hit a piece of metal in the road which punctured one of the fuel tanks. The driver didn't notice the leak until the truck got to Holmgren Way. By then, about 95 gallons of diesel had spilled. It took crews about five hours to clean up that mess. Cleanup begins today in southeast Wisconsin after severe storms roll through last night. Winds in the area reach 80 miles an hour, killing a 31-year-old motorcyclist from Kenosha who was hit by a falling tree. At one point during the storm, 22,000 homes were without power. And just to the south in Chicago, homes were pelted with golf ball-sized hail, while the Willis tower turned into a giant lightning rod. Police in Pulaski are looking for two women who allegedly burglarized a home while holding a small child. It happened yesterday afternoon at a home on Blue Heron Drive. Police say a 13-year-old girl told them she was watching the neighbor kids when she returned to her unlocked home and found the two standing in the living room. One was holding a young boy. They asked to use a phone to call 911 because the boy was hurt. The girl gave them her cell phone, but when they gave it back, she figured out they never actually made a call. When her parents returned home, they discovered that cash, prescription drugs, and liquor had been stolen. Both suspects were white women with thin builds. One is about 55 or 60 years old and missing at least two bottom front teeth. The other is between 35 and 40 years old with dark brown hair. They left the home in a dark colored minivan, possibly purple. 
Independence Day comes early for Dominique Strauss-Kahn. Today, a New York City judge agreed to free the former head of the International Monetary Fund without bail or home confinement. The move comes as prosecutors continue to look into the background of the hotel maid who has accused him of trying to rape her. ABC News has learned investigators uncovered financial and telephone records that could link her to criminal activity, a potential bombshell that could unravel the entire case. Think about how, how quickly we've moved. In May, you had the DA's office saying this was so violent, he was so dangerous that he should be held without bail. And now they may be coming forward in an essence saying we don't trust this accuser. Even though Strauss Khan can now leave his Manhattan townhouse, the agreement does not give him back his passport, and the case against him still stands. Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi is now threatening to attack Europe if the NATO airstrikes against his country continue. He delivered the warning in an audio message played to thousands of supporters gathered in the main square of the capital, Tripoli. It comes days after the International Criminal Court issued arrest warrants for him and two others for crushing an uprising that turned into a civil war. On Wall Street today, a better-than-expected manufacturing report boosts investor confidence in the economy. The Dow gains 168 points, posting its strongest week in two years. The Nasdaq rises 42. Well, today's heat is just what the doctor ordered for area pools. Well, it was the place to be. Coming up, city officials in Green Bay and in Appleton hopeful the warmer weather will help turn around a disappointing spring. And if you can't get to a pool, officials want to remind parents to be w aware of heat-related problems. What to watch for tonight at 5. And conditions will still be quite warm right through our holiday weekend. However, it will be turning less humid by late tomorrow. But notice that chance for a few storms on your Saturday. Not everyone is going to see them. So we'll let you know who can expect uh, at least maybe a chance for a shower with Pinpoint Predictor. It's all coming up in your full weather forecast after the break. Action 2 News brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards. Live life on full, get great fuel economy, and everything else you want. Fuel efficiency is really important. The Ford did a great job with the Taurus. 27 miles per gallon on the highway sounds pretty good to me. Get a Ford Taurus with 0% financing for 60 months, plus 500 bonus cash. Save big money during the Menard Day Sale. Keep your dog safe in the security of your yard with Intertech Pet Training products. Choose from a basic remote trainer or this pet containment system. Your choice, just $77.77 each. Add beauty and privacy to your yard with pre-assembled treated fence panels. They won't rot or decay. 4 by 8 foot dog-eared panels are $19.77 each. Heavy-duty 6 by 8 foot dog-eared panels are $37.88 each. Save big money at Menard. American Family Insurance knows every family needs quality coverage with outstanding service at a fair price. So we offer a free assessment to help you review all your insurance needs. Call 1-800-MY-AMFAM, visit amfam.com, or contact your local agent for a quote today. You might find that customized protection costs less than you think. For auto, home, renters, life, and more. American Family Insurance. Time Warner Cable has big savings for your online experience. Get Roadrunner for $29.95 per month. Enjoy faster downloads with a reliable connection that makes surfing, shopping, and searching a breeze. Make light work of your online bills and get more done in less time. Get Roadrunner for $29.95 per month. Price guaranteed for one year. Call 877-943-2525. Hurry, this offer won't last long. Live life on full, get great fuel economy, and everything else you want. The Mustang is better on gas than the Camaro, which is important, and it flies. I mean, this car has a lot of power. Who doesn't want both of those? Get a Ford Mustang with 0% financing or up to 2,000 cash back. Storm Center 2. We track storms with Pinpoint Predictor and our exclusive Tornado Hunter, Viper. Well, it may not have been the hottest day so far, but it's up there, at least in the top five so far this season, with many of us getting into the 90s, and that will lead into a hot and humid evening here. It tops your weather headlines, of course. Uh, areas away from Lake Michigan and the Bay of Green Bay still under that heat advisory until 8 o'clock tonight. And then we'll be watching for the chance of a storm here across our far northern counties. It's not a huge chance, but uh, we could see a storm there, so we'll be watching. 
watching for that and then a bright weekend ahead with less humid weather. Still pretty warm though. Temperatures will be in the 80s. Here we are on Saturday again. Those uh, isolated storms if they develop will skirt through early Saturday morning. Temperatures will be somewhere in the middle 80s eventually. Uh, through the day we will see less humid conditions start to build into the area so that will be nice and then Sunday and Monday looking very nice low 80s there plenty of sunshine really no problems for any outdoor festivities you may have uh, going on for the 4th of July and then our next storm chance comes in on Tuesday. Right now, here is the setup with our satellite and radar composite. You know, we did see a few showers and storms start to build down across southern extreme Wisconsin. Those continue to shift to the south. Mostly sunny skies here for much of the state, although we had just a few of those clouds hug our eastern counties and right around the Green Bay area, we had some clouds there. Back to the west, here's a boundary that is uh, providing for uh, some showers and storms here to build. You can see some of those are pretty strong now pushing into uh, southern portions of Minnesota, and it's right in the vicinity of the this boundary right here where more showers and storms will flare up. All of that will be kind of sliding north and east and again eventually as that line gets a little closer it could clip some of our far north or northwestern counties. We'll be watching for it. Most of it's going to stay I think just west of our viewing area but we'll keep an eye on things there for you and uh, check out this heat 97 right now in Minneapolis 98 in La Crosse 89 in Green Bay 97 in Sioux City. So nobody at 100 degrees but pretty close they're just west of our viewing area and 93 right now appears to be the hot spot in Wapaka, Wausau and Baraboo. 90 on the dot for you there in Fond du Lac. Look at Lakeshore locations in Sturgeon Bay. It's almost chilly there. 70 degrees there this hour and 81 in Menominee. All right, let's take a look at dew points. Once they get above 60, it does feel a little sticky. Once it gets above 70, it's very uncomfortable. Uh, oppressive really when they are this high so dew points in the middle to some upper 70s means there is a lot of moisture here and definitely feeling very sticky outside fortunately we have a little bit of wind generally winds coming out of the south today and many of us as you can see here in the double digits so we'll take any breeze we can get today to stay cool as we go through the rest of our evening here's what you can expect uh, pretty warm and overnight temperatures will stay in the 70s for the most part and uh, tomorrow they will rebound back into the 80s so it's going to be another warm Warm day and as winds switch around to the northwest, some of you lakeshore locations may get warmer uh, than the readings you saw out there today. All right, in terms of any thunderstorm activity, here we are at 11 p.m. and we'll go into our overnight. Here's 3:30. Notice that line west of the viewing area, but maybe something popping up here across uh, the northern portions of the viewing area. Here's 7 a.m. The rest of us will probably stay dry, but then here we go in the afternoon. A chance, maybe just a slight chance across the far south to see something pop up during the afternoon. I think most of us are going to go through Saturday on a dry note, so not a whole lot to worry about there, but of course we'll be watching the radar very carefully here for you uh, through the next 24 hours. Next storm chance then comes in on your Tuesday. Tonight, look for partly cloudy and muggy conditions. Again, just a chance of that storm uh, to the north. Temperatures pretty warm there overnight. Partly cloudy, an isolated shower to the far south. Temperatures still quite warm, but it will be less humid, and I think you'll be feeling that uh, by the afternoon hours. Temperatures stay in the 80s, though, right through our extended forecast. So 4th of July, definitely uh, a summer-like picture here with 80s and overnight lows in the 50s and 60s and more sunshine on the board than we've seen in recent five-day forecasts. Summer's so. here. I think it is. <laughs> yes. yes. Thanks, Rebecca. Okay. Well, this weekend will be filled with food, fun, and fireworks, but as Catherine Rocho explains in today's To Your Health, parents should also keep a close eye on their kids, especially the boys. Action 2 News, brought to you by Senzig's and Shano. Take an extra $100 off Sealy Posturepedic closeouts this week at Senzig's. Somebody went to Wisconsin Dells. After you vacation in the water park capital of the world, you'll never look at water the same way again. Plan your next trip today at Wistels.com. I'll call the plumber. There are over 100,000 items in a Gordman store. 90% of them are under $20. The latest looks in fashion. The latest looks for home. A 
to 60% off everything, every day. Gorgeous. Machines can't eat it, machines shouldn't make it, and that's just the way it is. The new hand-breaded chicken filet sandwich from Hardee's. It's Nissan's 4th of July sales event. Celebrate with $500 holiday bonus cash on our most popular models. Visit ChooseNissan.com. Test drive at your local Nissan dealer today. Hurry, event ends July 5th. Just getting away from it all. That's what I love most about the outdoors. It's a break. It's a break from the daily grind, my cell phone, my TV. It's freedom. It's tranquility. Recommending the gear that can make your experience better is rewarding. I'm Ryan LaBarge, and I'm one of the camping experts at Shields. This summer, plan to visit downtown Green Bay. On Tuesdays, Live on Main will offer music, food, and live art demos at Whitney Park from 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m., sponsored by Pomp's Tire. Wednesdays, you'll be able to dine on the deck, presented by Nicolet National Bank from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. On Thursday, Summer in the Park will provide free concerts from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then it's back to City Deck for Fridays on the Fox, presented by Coco Sushi Downtown, beginning at 5 p.m. with food and music. For more information, go online. Make your summer destination downtown Green Bay. This is Action 2 News at 4. Coverage you can count on. A new study shows there may be an increase in underage drinking over the 4th of July weekend. Catherine Bracho has more in today's To Your Health. This study had to do with alcohol-related visits to the emergency room. Researchers found more than twice as many underage boys have to go to the emergency room on the 4th of July weekend because of alcohol consumption as compared to the rest of July. For girls, the trips to the ER rise only slightly over the 4th as compared to the rest of July. Experts say parents need to talk to their kids about the dangers of underage drinking on holiday weekends and anytime. New research shows CT scans on all older smokers and former smokers could save the lives of one in five people who get lung cancer. Doctors say CT scans can catch lung cancers much earlier than other types of screening. Health experts say the benefits of catching cancer early have to be weighed, though, against the extra cost to hospitals of screening a large number of people. And doctors say the psychological harm of a false positive from a CT scan also has to be weighed. In this study, more than a quarter of patients had a false positive for cancer. For To Your Health, I'm Catherine Bracho. Well, they are packing them in today at pools around the area. It's just what city leaders have been hoping for. I'm very jealous how today's warmer weather will impact attendance when Action 2 News at 4 returns. Action 2 News To Your Health is brought to you by Ministry Door County Medical Center, putting patients first in everything we do. At Ministry Door County Medical Center, we put our patients first in everything we do. While five-year-old Alex was visiting Door County with his family, he took a painful tumble from a swing set. I broke my hearings. This is Dr. Dan. Dr. Dan's the best. He knew that Alex needed surgery and performed it right away. Alex's mom was even able to stay overnight with her son in the hospital. Now, Alex is back on his feet and back on the swing set. Total Mobility Care. Ministry Door County Medical Center. Helping you return to the full motion of life. Ready, set, shop! Yonkers 4th of July mattress sale is on now through Monday. Save 50% plus an extra 10% on our entire assortment of Simmons mattresses, including the new revolutionary Beautyrest, a smarter way to sleep. Beautyrest Black, the finest Beautyrest ever. And Comfortpedic Loft with body-conforming memory foam, plus free delivery, setup, and removal. 24 months financing available. The 4th of July mattress sale, now through Monday. Go, go, Yonkers! Go. This is the biggest one of the year. We are the team folks trust to get the job done. Are you ready? You got it, Dave! Yeah! 
It's Feldco's biggest sale of the year. Free installation on windows, siding, and doors. With no interest financing until 2012. Free installation is on now. These Grand Slam savings end soon. So get off the bench and make the call. Now let me hear ya. Call 866 for Feldco. Yeah! Representative Fred Clark says he'll fight for our kids' education. So why did he vote to cut school aid by nearly $300 million? Clark says he'll fight for our seniors, but voted to cut senior care, cut health care too. Instead, Clark voted for $37 million in pork barrel projects, including a $5 million scoreboard for the Milwaukee Bucks. Tell Fred Clark cutting education and health care to pay for pork is just plain wrong. This year, celebrate the 4th of July at home. American Tradition Fireworks has unloaded the trucks so the shelves are stocked with the best fireworks available. And they're keeping prices down, which means you get more show for your dough. Like 10% off your purchase and free product. Also, mention you saw this ad on Channel 2 and get a free pack of 12 mortars with a minimum purchase of $50. Don't disappoint your family and friends with duds. Go to American Tradition Fireworks, just north of Green Bay and Sabisky. They know fireworks and only sell the really good stuff. We've got a cook in every KFC to make sure our chicken is freshly cooked every day. Kind of like Sunday dinner seven days a week. Our 10-piece feast serves four to five for just 20 bucks. Freshly made today and every day. The 10-piece feast, now at KFC. Yeah. Tonight, what would you do if you saw a teenage boy abusing his girlfriend? You're so stupid. Well, what happened got so hot, we had to break things up. So the question is, what would you do? Tonight at 9, 8 central, followed by 2020 on ABC. City officials hope this hot weather turns up the heat on pool attendance. Brian McBride has the story. It's jam-packed at aquatic centers across Green Bay today, a welcome sight for those in the business of keeping people cool. June was a pretty slow month. The weather didn't cooperate with us. Um, it was cool, it was rainy. Um, our numbers were low in June. Today is going to change. On a hot day like this, Ann Miller with the City of Green Bay's Parks and Recs Division says attendance at the city's three pools could attract more than a thousand people each. All in all, city officials say pool attendance is directly linked to bad weather. Where we would have between three and 600, let's say. Uh, there were days where we had to close and we only had 40 people. Hoping that today's forecast and the rest of this month will bring this soggy cycle to an end. Families are in the summer routine. Family vacations are over. Summer school is over, things like that. So between that and the weather, July is usually a really good month for us. In Green Bay, Brian McBride, Action 2 News. And if you're looking for some fun this weekend, some fireworks, here's a list of the dates and times of the most of the shows in our area. As always, we have more information on our website at WBAY.com. Brought to you by Dalton Carpet Outlet, made in the USA sale. Carpet, vinyl, or laminate as low as 99 cents a square foot through July 4th. Once we were dreamers, adventurers set out to discover new lands, new people, new ways. Once we were great explorers in search of hidden treasure, secret hideouts, magic lands. The treasure is still here and waiting to inspire a new generation of dreamers. Come uncover the riches and bounty of pure Michigan. Your trip begins at Michigan.org. Hey, Doug. Hey, John. What's up with your place? Joan's on this all natural kick. <laughs> That's a goat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, John. Hi. Do you have to go all out to go all natural? Not with Hormel Natural Choice Sandwich Meat. Great taste, no preservatives. Hormel, life better served. What is that? Oh, we call it the bundler. Let's say you need home and auto insurance. You give us your information once online. And we 
give you a discount on both. So, like, two and one. How did you guys think of that? It just came to us. What? Bundling and saving made easy. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. This is why you shop. Okay, who's hungry? And this is why you shop at Cops. Celebrate this 4th of July with fireworks, friends, and good food. And save a few bucks, too. Cops, living up to your life. Men's wardrobes courtesy of Bill Paul Limited, Downtown Nina, Downtown Wausau, and Monroe Street, Madison. Clothing and sportswear for your lifestyle. Women's wardrobes courtesy of Wilkins and Olander, Door County's quality clothier, Sturgeon Bay, Fish Creek. We have breaking news out of Kakana where a rescue operation is now underway at the Thousand Islands Nature Center. Sheriff's officials tell us a fisherman's pole got snagged and he fell into the Fox River at the fishing pier. They say the river is swollen because of all the recent rain, but they don't know how deep it is or how fast it's moving. We do have a crew on the way and we'll bring you the latest coming up tonight at 5. Before we leave, Rebecca has a final check of the weather. It's still going to be a hot one for the rest of the evening. Temperatures in the 80s feeling like 100 at least over the next hour or so with hazy sunshine, holiday planner, things are looking pretty good. A small chance of a storm across the north early tomorrow and then less humid and lots of sunshine right through the 4th. Picture perfect. It really is one of the nicer holiday weekends I can remember. <laughs> I remember all the rainy ones for sure. It'll be nice. Less humid, no rain. I think we're doing pretty good. <laughs> so too. We'll see you at 5. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.